Hello, and thank you for joining the online information session. My name is Courtney Omlin, and I'm the Assistant Director of Recruiting and Admissions, and I will be guiding you through this presentation for the Master of Science in Entrepreneurship program at the University of Washington's Foster School of Business. Let's get started. In this session, I'll give you an overview of the program, including information on the structure and logistics, as well as details about the student experience. I'll also review the admissions process and discuss program fees. I hope to provide a clear understanding of the program and give you enough information to help you decide if this program is a good fit for you. Like many entrepreneurs, we started by identifying a problem, and that is, being an entrepreneur is hard. We heard from folks that started a company or two, but realized they had gaps in their skills or education. They maybe knew one thing really well, but had no real broad understanding of the entrepreneurial landscape and weren't getting the results they wanted. We also heard that in order to gain that missing knowledge, people wouldn't go back for an MBA as it was too costly and would take two to three years. And that's time and money that could have been spent on their own startup. The EMS and Entrepreneurship Program was created to solve this problem. The program is designed to give students a chance to explore business models that work, understand the entrepreneurial landscape, learn how to avoid common pitfalls, and know who to turn to when they need help. Our program aims to fill in the gaps of your entrepreneurial knowledge, connect you with the right people, including your cohort, faculty, mentors, and the Burke Center for Entrepreneurship. We help you develop the skills for success and confidence to pursue future endeavors. And we give you the theory and the time to work on your startup idea while you're in the program. We provide students with an active network of Seattle mentors and coaches made up of angel investors, venture capitalists, startup attorneys, and seasoned entrepreneurs. Unlike other mentoring programs, you're not matched with one person for the whole year. Instead, students set the pace for mentoring and can reach out to our panel of experts as needed. There are also numerous events in Seattle and surrounding areas where students can expand their entrepreneurial connections. Classes are designed specifically around the startup process. This starts in the summer quarter with ideation and mar market validation and continues in the autumn with testing your idea. Winter is all for refining your plan. The spring quarter helps you prepare to scale and start pitching for funding. Additionally, the cohort is a specific peer group made up of 30 to 45 like-minded folks from various backgrounds and experiences. Students are highly collaborative and range in age from about 21 to 51. On average, they have four to five years of work experience but this varies again from person to person. Every student is encouraged to be open and transparent about their successes and challenges and what they're doing and how they're doing it. Your classmates have a lot to offer, including insights on how you might make your current idea even better. As I mentioned before, you'll have time to work on your own startup. Each quarter, you will receive one to two credits for working on your own idea. And we have Plenty of UW resources like the Burke Center for Entrepreneurship, which has been around for 25 years and is the department that our program spun out of. They are the main source on campus for all things entrepreneurial. We also have three makerspaces on campus, so you can build a prototype with 3D printers, use our sewing machines, kilns, and video labs that have green screen technology. We also have patent databases, hardware labs, and access to cross-disciplinary students from around campus. As you compare your options, we know you have alternatives. The most common are going out on your own, getting an MBA degree, or applying into an accelerator. Going in alone, sure, we've all heard of some folks that have had some success in this, but generally this is a lonely, solitary path. It can be hard to find a peer group to bounce ideas off of, and you will likely discover that there are gaps in your knowledge. 
It also might turn out that your network of support is not as targeted to meet your needs in fulfilling those gaps. An MBA is another good option for many people. It's a corporate track that offers general understanding of all components of a business and prepares you for a role within a company, not necessarily to create a company. The Master of Science and Entrepreneurship curriculum is built on the same rigor as MBA coursework, but our courses focus on the stages of entrepreneurial development, including strategy, marketing, and finance, but all through an entrepreneurial lens and real-world practice. Additionally, an MBA can be lengthy and costly, and it may not provide you with a specific peer group of entrepreneurs. What we're hearing from people interested in our program is that our entrepreneurial focused learning is more in line with their goals and mindset. Accelerators are another great option. They are typically shorter in duration, usually three to six months, during which a team works intensively with the startup to get the company into the best possible shape and help refine their pitch to investors. Accelerators such as Techstars or Y Combinator are focused more and more on later stage companies who already have solid teams and more traction. Plus, accelerators will take an equity stake in your company, whereas the University of Washington does not take equity. What we have seen is that an accelerator may be an excellent next step after completing our program. You can get the fundamentals of entrepreneurship, start building that product or company, and then apply to take that idea into an accelerator. The Master of Science in Entrepreneurship program is one year in duration, or the equivalent of four quarters at the University of Washington. It starts in June and ends the following June. It is a full-time, daytime, and in-person program. Classes meet Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. There might be one or two evening classes possible each year. We do try to give students one to two days off per week. Each week, students can expect to spend about 15 hours in classes, workshops, mentor meetings, or weekly check-ins. Additionally, students dedicate a minimum of 25 hours outside the classroom to homework, team assignment, events, and time to work on your own startup. Weekends and most evenings are all yours, with the exception of special events. All classes, again, are in person, not online. This is a very tactile, hands-on, interactive program, and we have found that the in-person interactions just cannot be replicated online. We have cohort sizes of up to 45 students max. The class size varies from year to year, but on average is around 35 to 40 students. It is a cohort-based lockstep program. This means all students follow the same schedule throughout the entire program. All classes are required. We don't waive classes, so if a student has experience in a certain area, they are still required to take the class, and we ask that they lend their expertise and help fellow classmates. Our curriculum follows the startup process and is entirely entrepreneurial. It takes you through the natural and complete process of starting a company, ideation to testing, to refining, and preparing to scale, all in preparation to launch. A note for international students, our program unfortunately is not STEM designated, but students are still eligible for one year of OPT. The makeup of the cohort changes year to year, but what you'll find is a group of entrepreneurial minded people with different experiences, skills, and backgrounds. Some students come to us straight after earning their undergraduate degrees. Others come with 20 to 30 years of work experience. Generally, we have students from both tech and non-tech backgrounds. About 50% of the class has had some sort of pre previous entrepreneurial experience, and we usually see about half the cohort identifies as female. We welcome all majors, and no previous business courses are required to participate in the program. You'll find that there is a mix of team and individual work in the program. You might work with a team on an entrepreneurial case to examine what worked and what didn't, and at other times you'll apply what you're learning directly to your own idea. We fully expect each student to start the program with an idea 
or industry that they are passionate about starting a venture in, but we recognize that ideas change. You may discover that you have a great idea, but it doesn't necessarily make for a good business. That's okay. We've seen students tweak, pivot, start over, or join other teams. These are all viable options. It's just important to keep moving forward. Again, students reports they spend on average about 40 hours per week for the program and their startup. That includes the time inside and outside of the classroom. There are several UW competitions that students can participate in, such as the Health Innovation Challenge and the Environmental Innovation Challenge. All MS Entre students are required to enter the Dempsey Startup Competition as part of the program. The five to seven page business plan that you submit for the competition serves as your final project. In addition, there are several other opportunities to participate in some of the Greater Seattle competitions. You'll also find there are many opportunities to connect across the UW campus and Seattle at special events or workshops each quarter. We also regularly bring experts and guest speakers to campus to talk about how they overcame entrepreneurial challenges and leveraged opportunities. Our program offices are located in the newly opened Founders Hall, where we also have a co-working space that is reserved specifically for UW entrepreneurial students to gather and meet. And just a word about career services. Um, and unlike an MBA, we don't have a person on staff devoted to career services. The point is here that you're ideally going to create your own job, but we know this doesn't happen overnight. So you're still welcome to use Foster and UW Career Centers to meet with career coaches, and you're encouraged to take advantage of career-related workshops, job search tools, and interview prep that they offer each quarter. We are looking for people where entrepreneurship is the only way forward for them, no matter what their career path. Being a part of something innovative is a must. Are you someone who is motivated, determined, and passionate about an idea or startup? Are you coachable? And you have the willingness to be corrected and take action on that correction. Are you fearless? Are you able to take risks? How self-aware are you? Do you know both your strengths and your weaknesses? Are you curious? Do you have ideas about the problem or problems you'd like to solve? We're not concerned with students having exactly the right idea. Ideas change, but students do need to have a concept or industry they'd like to focus on while in the program. Are you ready to jump in? Show a bias for action? Introverts and extroverts alike must be determined and take action. If this sounds like you, we'd love for you to join us. Entrepreneurship and innovation run through Seattle's veins. Amazon started here, as did REI, Starbucks, Nordstrom, and Redfin. And of course, two now legendary startups, Microsoft and Boeing. In the global health space, PATH is headquartered here, as is the nonprofit Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So what makes the city a magnet for entrepreneurs? There's tons of support for early stage entrepreneurs, dozens of groups, networks, and meetups, including Techstars, Founders Live, Startup Weekend, just to name a few. There's a very robust entrepreneurial culture with over a 200 year history of scrappy startups. There's strong media to tell startup stories, such as GeekWire, TechFlash, in addition to the support of local media stations and the media at UW. There's also potential sources of capital. There are over 20 active venture capital firms and angel groups, including the Alliance of Angels, which is one of the most active angel groups in the country. Now we'll take a look at the admissions process and review the program fees. Admissions requirements include a four-year bachelor's degree or equivalent, the equivalent of a 3.0 GPA, GRE, GMAT scores are not required, and this is largely because we do not feel that the test scores indicate someone's entrepreneurial aptitude. 
However, if you have a low GPA, you can submit a GMAT or a GRE score as supplemental materials to help support your GPA. If applicable, English proficiency can be proven by submitting a TOEFL, IELTS, or Duolingo score. You can see the minimums required, but in general, competitive candidates have TOEFL scores of about 100, IELTS scores of 7.5 or higher, and Duolingo scores of 125 or better. There are other ways to prove your English proficiency requirement, such as receiving your undergraduate degree from a university where the teaching was 100% in English. So please visit our International Applicants page to learn more. We also have an admissions FAQ page to help answer some of the most common questions we get. Our online application consists of two essays, one of which is required, a 90 second video, which is an opportunity to bring yourself to life off of the paper, a resume, transcript, proof of English proficiency if applicable, and two letters of recommendation. There is also a non-refundable application fee. Please note that our department does not offer an application fee waiver. Program fees are based on residency, and the current cost estimates can be seen below. Please note, fees are subject to change annually, so check the website for the most up-to-date information. For more details about the total cost of attendance and various scholarships and other funding opportunities, make sure to visit our tuition page. The Application Review Committee looks holistically at each applicant, but in general is looking for a candidate's entrepreneurial experience or readiness, their desire to start a company, if there's a bias for action, are you a self-starter? We want to see you're eager and excited to build something new. Have a high level of self-awareness. You know you don't have all the answers, but are driven to learn and aren't afraid to fail along the way. Strong level of motivation, determination. You're not easily deterred. Work experience is preferred, but it is not required. We also value leadership roles, so please be sure to highlight those if you don't have any professional work experience yet. Applications for the MS and Entrepreneurship cohort typically open in September of each year, and there are three rounds of application reviews. The round one deadline is typically in November. Round two is in January, and it is the final deadline for international applicants that require a new I-20 in order to enter the U.S. The round three deadline is in February, and that's the final deadline for domestic applicants or those international students who are currently in the U.S. and already possess a valid study visa. Applications received after the February deadline will be considered on a case-by-case, space-available basis. For the current application deadlines, please be sure to visit our admissions page. Completed applications will be reviewed after each round and admissions notification sent approximately eight weeks after the applicable deadline. Admissions decisions will only be made once all required elements are submitted. Thank you for joining me for this session. I hope you found the information helpful. Please know that if you have questions about your specific circumstances, you can always reach out to me at the email listed. M-S-E-N-T-R-E -E at U-W dot E-D-U. You can also visit our Contact Us page to schedule an appointment to meet with myself or the director via Zoom. Thanks again, and we hope to get your application soon.